All right, guys. Here I am, my back at um, Premium Coach Group again in Gilbert, Arizona, and uh, I'm doing another inspection. So let's take a look at this thing. This one's really nice. This is a 2002 American Coach. This is on a Prevost ca chassis here. Ooh, let's go inside. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut the front door. Have a good look around inside so far. So the next step I feel like would be to get some privacy in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close all the blinds. Okay, there they all go. I think even the bedroom ones go down right there. And they're down. Hi everybody. Okay, so now you everybody got a sneak peek of what's it looking like in here. It's weird. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the TV now. This comes out of the ceiling. And uh 2002 this is really a nice coach inside not too uh, garish I guess would be the word now, this is all leather whether or not it's real leather or ultra leather I couldn't tell you but it's obviously maple wood it does have the brass gold trim on it that's just your entertainment center with the home theater system and of course my test DVD right in there that uh Richard Kimball there. I'm sure he's not innocent. He's got to be guilty. This one comes equipped with four roof ACs that are heat pumps. It also has heated flooring. So there's three zones for heated flooring. But then it also has the aqua hot for the boiler heat that comes to the floor register. So you can stay warm in this really easily with uh, three different methods. Of course, it has a sculpted carpet and the interior. It's got the plastic flooring on it. Uh, this uh, sofa does turn into a bed. It's not power, but there are two drawers underneath. The dinette right there, it doesn't turn into a bed, which is great because you don't want people to stay over. These are again just push button controls. I think, let's see. Yeah, you can dim those also just by pushing and hold the button down. Right there. This has a nice purified water faucet in it. And there's a setup for it down in here. So really, very well filtered water there. You can see everything under here. Now of course this has a, another cool feature that I always like. So it has two pocket doors. Now these are air driven. So it uses air pressure to open and close them. So I can push it again. One day they'll have sensors that open up when you get close to them. Just like a Jedi. Now I didn't show you over here. Of course your uh, inverter controller is right here again. 12 volt fuse is right below it. Yeah. This just has a CD changer and a wine guard traveler. The uh, driver's uh, control console is right above. Control the generator, the leveling, the TV, obviously. And the slide out. This does have a slide out. So this entire section from there to there is a slide out. Now hidden behind this door in the galley, that's where your thermostat's located. For It's got the four zones. This is actually the monitor panel for the holding tanks. So you get digital readouts of your uh, actual your tanks. You start the generator here, you can turn the water pump on and off. There's two water pumps. Turn the water heater on on 110. Right there. Those of course just uh, more slide out pantry drawers. So this does have a newer residential refrigerator. And this, like most of these bus conversions, is a all electric unit. So. Uh, sorry about that. 
got an electric range top right there. Right above is your convection oven microwave. Hi again. So we'll go into the bathroom. There's a mirror there. Hello again. Uh, this is a, the toilet room, the water closet. This just has a Thetford toilet on it, so it's a power toilet. Really not the, that exciting. Okay. Again, right behind here is gonna be your stack washer dryer combo. So it's full size, you don't have to uh, <laughs> do tiny little loads of take all day to do a few loads of laundry. You can do it all in one uh, one or two loads. It's another one of those in-floor heaters. Now, of course, the bathroom's in the middle of the coach here, so you actually have two pocket doors. So you have a bathroom door, the kitchen door you can do. And then there's a bedroom door. It's getting hung up on the plastic at the bottom there. Hello. So now I'm in some sort of weird corridor. Whoa. I always like these things. Of course, I like those power doors. Always looks like there's somebody standing behind me. It's got a great big huge shower. You can sit down in it and because it's an aqua hot you have basically unlimited hot water so you literally could sit down in it. I would never do that. I might do that. Just one of the closets. Of course you have your bed right here. It's not a special bed. Uh, there's storage underneath, but it's nothing that's spectacular. Of course you have the bedroom TV, entertainment center. We're indoors so we don't get very good antennas. And of course your bedroom at radio is right there. In the closet, there's really not much to see. In this one, it's just another closet indoors. So that's just a very quick rundown of this closet, or this closet, of this really nice 2002 American coach. Aged really well. It's really nice. So, there it is. We'll go on the outside next. All right, well, we'll just go on around the outside of this real fast. It's really a beautiful, beautiful coach. I mean, it's in great shape. The metal works fantastic. Windows are great. You see the aqua hot right in there. That's where the batteries are located. Can I do a sneak peek on the batteries here? There's two rows of those, so I got six total. Just outside drawers. Your slider comes out. Even has a zip D awning chairs, folding table, outside speakers, outside rent station. Two water pumps, those are the water pumps back there. Just got storage. Has window awnings above there. Open this up. Again, just a great big huge engine, engine bay here. Everybody likes to see the engine bay. It's a massive engine. It's bigger than my car. There it is again. Just keeps going and going and going. All right, let me get this closed up.
I would not have thought this was a 2000. This just lets you get service access to all the radiators here. You can kind of see the slide out on that side. You have the toolbox over here. It's your shore cord control and your shore cord. <laughs> this is something really special. It's a little light, so you can see your shore cord at night. There's actually a sewer hose carrier that opens up. Water compartment here. This should be your electrical bay. Your two great big huge trace inverters again. A lot going on over here. Actually, the transfer switch is right back behind this panel here. You know, there's one right there. That one's for the washer and dryer. Believe it or not, this is the slide out motor. If you ever needed to manually do it, there's a little hex right there. You can turn that. It'll take you about forever, but it'll work. This is great big, huge uh, bolts that slide into here when it's locked into place. Of course, it's just going to be our generator compartment. Wow. What is that? 3,700 3, hours. That's a battery just for the generator. You have your exhaust that's on a flexible hose. That's a blower to blow air across the radiator through this compartment because you have air filters that go in the door right there to draw air in and you can see all this acoustic uh, foam to help keep it quiet inside. So, it's a great big huge bay for a generator. Of course that also comes out on the, on the um, slider below it. Oh, I should probably turn that light off. And this is just going to be the other side of that uh, storage. Look at that built-in step support, block support, mud guard, rock guard. And of course, not too much to see on this side next to the building. Go around out front and take a look at the front end. Oh, I can open up this door. Sorry about going so fast there. Now this window opens and closes and along with the one on the entry door. Backup 110 compressor, onboard air. And of course, that electrical bay again. And here we are back at the front. It's just absolutely beautiful in there. There it is, 2002 American Coach. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed that uh, quick little tour of a 2002 American bus conversion. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down below and I will do my absolute best to answer them. Again, thanks a lot. Bye.